It's taboo time. I've done it again. I've ordered more stuff from our good Chinese friends. Uh, so we'll have a look what we've got in here. Hopefully, it's good stuff. All right. So I'll do as usual. All the prices will be up there. I won't link to the Temu stuff because by the time I get the link in, they've disappeared. So what have we got today? I've got another Temu package this morning, so a bit, a bit of bonus stuff. Right, we've got a little package. Don't know what it is. Oh, it's a power adapter. These I got specifically for my grow house out the back because they're cheap. We will try these out. Three of them in the pack. They look pretty stock standard. They may burst into flames knowing Chinese adapters, but it won't matter because it's out on bricks and it might spread. So we'll try these out, see if they actually work. If I can dig up my multimeter, I'll check the actual voltage and make sure they're okay. So three of those for however much that was. Nice and cheap. Not terribly exciting, but there we go. Now we'll try out our Temu USB supply. Let's see if it works. And I'm not going to stare at this because it is bright. Well, it works. It'll be interesting to see how warm it gets. We might leave it on for 10 minutes and come back later to see how hot this is getting. Okay, so it's been on for a few minutes now. Nope, not hot at all. This is good. I'm happy with those. As I said, I will only ever use them outside because I don't trust them not to burst into flames. Nature, home and kitchen. We've got old knife blocks over there. You probably don't want to look at them. Um, so we thought we'd try out getting one of these magnets to hold it up on the wall since the <clears throat> knife blocks aren't working terribly well. The reason it's in the gardening video is if it doesn't look any good or doesn't work for the kitchen, it's going out in the shed and it will hold some of my screwdrivers and things. So this is it here. Got a couple of magnetic strips on it. It's got to be screwed to the wall, which is a pain in the neck. I was hoping it was self-adhesive. So we'll just give this a quick check. Here is our magnetic knife holder. Here is one knife. I don't think so. If we do it that way, it'll stop. Oh, no. Again, Timu magnets are not terribly magnetic. I'll probably just pop this in the shed. Yeah. I'm just going to mount it up on the shed. It's <sighs> this is how Temu got its reputation for crap. Quite heavy, quite solid, but they've only put two little strips of magnet down there, and they're not strong at all. Barely magnetic. Well, that one was a waste. You think so too, Roof? Was that a waste? Yes, it was. Right, what's next? Our next one is many, many, many plastic pots. These are nice small ones that I want to use for uh, cuttings and similar. And they are much smaller than I expected. This is not what I expected at all. They were meant to be quite deep. Um, but what I've ended up with is these little fellas, which will probably still be useful for growing some seeds. And they are reasonable sort of plastics, quite flexible and looks like it might last a while. But not, that's crackling going to come through. But this is not what I expected at all. I should have read the dimensions a little closer. I'll check out the price and make a comment on the price. And on. But there's many, many, many of them. So what it makes up for in lack of correct description, uh, it makes up for in quantity, I hope. Not happy with that one. Okay, more magnetic things. So I've got this, and this is for use in the shed. And they are little, very strong magnets, they tell me. How strong? We shall find out. And this is going to be used, again, in the shed because I keep losing things. And I'll use them to try and hang up some of my tools like secateurs and 
and other items. So here they are. They certainly seem quite strong. Let's try it on the on the fridge. Hello. Ooh. Make sure you do the screw up because it was quite loose. There he is there. They're not that strong. I don't know that they're going to be able to handle much at all. Okay, so here we go with our ultra strong magnets, which aren't. So what I'm going to do is, we'll pop him there. So all of these tools I've got, I'm hoping it's going to be strong enough to hold them. Probably just. I tried these sticky hooks, which are unreliable. They tend to fall off. That up there, get my little clamp, find somewhere to hang it on. Yes, yeah, so I should have got bigger hooks. Maybe next time, if I bother. We do have another sharpener, which again. Hook is too small. All right, lesson number one. Hook's too small. And don't buy Temu mag super strong magnets because they aren't. I think that's a bit of a failure. All right, let's try the next thing. The last in this pack is something fairly simple, but I could certainly use it for the mushrooms. And that is a handy little mat. Right, I'm showing this one again because it was too much noise from my microphone, so I'll be much more careful of that now. But I also have this. Not exciting, really, but it's a ground sheet, sheet for doing potting and stuff on. But I've actually got it so that I can do my mushrooms on there. So I'll sterilise this, put the straw on, put the mushroom spawn in, mix it all up, then pop it in the bucket. Seems like it might be an easier way than layering and it might be more effective, but we'll try it out and we'll see. So this was quite cheap, price up there. Uh, it's meant to be a metre by a metre. Certainly looks a metre by a metre. I'm in here somewhere. And the advantage of this is, rather than just using a bit of plastic, If we clip the corners together with these little press studs, it becomes sort of a dish. So you can imagine I can just dump a bucket full of straw that's already been pasteurized in here, making sure this is sterile, put my spawn in there, mix it all up into the bucket. Uh, it'll make much less mess and it will keep things nice and sterile. The plastic itself, pretty lightweight, but it doesn't need to be that tough. The interesting thing will be how long these press studs keep working and whether they're strong enough when you actually put something in here. Um, yes, it is cheap. It looks cheap. It feels cheap. And the press studs don't look great. But again, I think for the price, probably worthwhile, maybe. We'll see how it performs. But I'm not doing any mushrooms for a while, so we won't see that here. All right, moving along. At least it folds up nice and small. And this one that just arrived a couple of minutes ago, I'm holding out great hope for. Because I bought these before, but from a different place. And they've been really, really good. Little trimming scissors. You've seen them in my other videos, my Temu scissors. And I've got four of them for $20 or somewhere around there, a little bit over $20. And if they're the same as the previous ones, they should be pretty good. Let's take one out and we'll give it a quick shot on something. They look identical. Same colour even. Oh, that worked. They cut cardboard. Let's try a toothpick, which is a bit more like a that we would be trimming. That went off a long way. 
that works. I think these are going to be good. So my Temu scissors, which I keep displacing and then finding again, I've got spares. Four of them for whatever it says there, but about 20, it's over $20, I think, $24 or similar. Back to the scissors, because while I was outside checking out my not very magnetic magnets, I grabbed my original Temu scissors, which are right here. And they are absolutely identical in every way that I can see. So, as I said, I keep losing these and finding them again. And I only had one set. So now I have five sets. I'm quite happy with that because these are good. I've lost my camera person temporarily. But while we're here, we'll come over. We'll have a look at this kumquat. And I want to just stop it growing too much taller. So I'm going to trim some of it off. And I'll use my brand new scissors. So we just want to nip these off to stop it growing any higher. And that is really good. Yeah, just as good as the other ones. I like them. Well, there we have it. <clears throat> Success or failure in purchasing? The only answer to that can be yes. I think some of them are really good. I like these. They're uh, really good value. And I can lose many more of them at once now that I've got five. The magnets... I don't think Temu knows what magnetic properties are. None of the magnet stuff is any good. I think it's absolute rubbish, quite honestly. The pots, I think, are okay. I misread the dimensions, so that's my fault, not Temu's. Uh, but it was a bit confusing, so maybe they could clear that up a little bit. Still blame them. It's my excuse. Uh, ground sheet, cheap, but what do we expect? Uh, hopefully it'll work. It probably won't last very long, but it's worth a shot. Uh, and the... Magnetic hooks, awful. They're almost non-magnetic. And the hooks I bought were way, way too small. They look nice and big in the pictures. Again, I should have looked at the dimensions more carefully, but they are not magnetic. They are barely magnetic. They are certainly not rare earth magnets or anything that they advertised. So if you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. I really need it, please. Otherwise I'll kick the dog. No, I won't, we'd never kick the dog. Anyway, enjoy life. I'll catch you in the garden.